well now today we would be starting with some android related things i would be creating one activity i would be having some input boxes over there and i'm going to check what you can say username and password something like that okay so let me start that with writing or creating something inside app so this is the activity right i have already explained in the earlier tutorials few fundamental components of the android and one of them is activity right and one of them is activity now what i want to do is that i want to create one button over here right i want to create one button over here and that button i need to access right or i want to create one button and one text box i want to access that thing how you are going to do that thing before doing this thing we need to understand what do you mean by activity before accessing this thing we need to understand what do you mean by activity okay now i'll show you app compact activity it's something over here your activity is extending the app compact activity your activity is extending the app compact activity now what do, what does that mean if you can go over here what the documentation they have written base class for activities that use right something this thing support library that use something called as support library like the action bar features or are or these are over here right you can add an support v7 action bar to your activity when running on api level 7 or higher by extending this class and setting the activity theme this or a similar theme means this is related to the app compatibility backward compatibility there are some features which are not running on the api level 7 see to your activity when running on the api level 7 or the higher by extending for your activity means action bar is the feature which is not available on the api level 7 if you want to achieve that thing or related to that thing you would be needing app compact activity so this is nothing but the backward compatibility given to us right this is nothing but what related to the backward compatibility this is related to what backward compatibility if you want to have or if you want to achieve the backward compatibility you need to extend to the app compact activity presently you can plain or you can directly do something like this or what i'll do is that i'll show you the difference right at the beginning i'll show you the difference let me create the emulator right we have already seen how to create the emulator means i have already shown you how to work with the emulator let me run the emulator this emulator right i have already created very simple create new virtual device then few parameters tick 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 and then start your emulator would be running okay now what i'm going to show is that what if i'm extending to the app compact activity what happens and what not happens when i'm creating the app compact activity that we'll see okay now it's running till then i'll show you activity class see activity activity a presently i'll say null you don't need to do this thing i am doing this thing just for explaining right you don't need to do this thing i am doing this thing just for explanation now let me run this app can you see this play button just tap on the play button and you can start running the code just see so it is running the application on your machine see this it is running the application on the emulator right first time it might take the little bit load but don't worry about that once it is going to insert the apk into your emulator 
right that's that will run very smoothly remember that if you are working with the android studio right i'll show you that if you are working with the android studio there is some requirements of your machine what your machine should be there are some requirements if you can scroll 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 here are the requirements you can see see this if you are on the mac right if you are on the mac if you are on the windows these are the requirements that your machine should have see 3 GB RAM minimum, 8 GB is recommended everywhere. 8 GB RAM is recommended. See, 8 GB RAM is recommended. Then here also, 8 GB RAM is recommended. Means minimum 8 GB RAM should be there for the smooth running of the applications. Right, and other requirements are here. That's fine. Okay, now app is still Gradle is running. If you can see this message gradle build is running for first time on my machine it will take little bit load right so we are discussing what is app compact activity what will happen if you extend to the activity and what will happen if you extend to the app compact activity that we are getting over here so once application is running you will get something over here now you would be telling me the difference right so presently I'm extending to the app compact activity see app is running in the mobile in the emulator and see what happens okay it will take little bit time for the first time right but that is running can you see some 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 over here you will find one difference okay now you will get the difference the moment I am going to change this app compact and again if I run the app just see once again see carefully right what happens this and let me run the code once again and see what happens see right you are not getting something over here you are not getting something over here right so that feature is given to you by app compact activity throughout the versions throughout all the versions extending to the activity and extending to the app compact activity will make the difference over here right will make the difference over here okay now see app compact activity now what I want to show you is that if you go on checking app main activity is extending to the app compact activity then app compact activity is extending to the fragment activity fragment activity is extending to the base fragment activity jelly bin then base fragment activity is extending to the honeycomb then gingerbread then support activity and then activity means your app compact activity is also activity that is also activity but for getting that action bar feature or the presently in the material design toolbar feature you might need to extend it to the app compact activity it is not mandatory you can run your application without extending to this right but some there are guidelines material design says something about the guideline we are going to explore that time to time right that's why you need this thing right I hope app compact activity has been clear to you well so this is all about app compact activity in the next tutorial I'm going to cover how to create the UI using not using XML right just writing the code what are the features that we are going to see? Okay, we'll meet in next tutorial.